and been very feet and man it is totally lopsided it is unbelievable well but i don't think you could you could predict that the cowboys would play as poorly as they played in the first half. well i'm looking at you know um redskins the last time they beat dallas twice in one year 95 1995 you got it. You're way ahead of me, Sonny, as you always have been. <laughs> always way ahead of me in those stats. Well, we are set for the Good. second half kickoff. We're in the GMRI broadcast booth. Second half getting set to begin. We're ready to roll. Well, Bill McPeak, or, uh... <laughs> John Hall has it teed up, and he is like, where, like we said in the first half, deep to receive the kickoff. Tyson Thompson and Terrence yeah. Cooper. The Redskins only two penalties in the first half, the sixth for the Cowboys, and some of those were declined. That's they right. had more That's right. that were declined. They had about ten. <laughs> hey, Torin Tucker, the left tackle, I think he leads the league in motion penalties. Run up in the kickoff by John Hall. The second half is underway. Thompson's going to take it at his 10-yard line with the 15, 20, 25. Cuts to the left oh. side, has open field. John Hall takes him down at the 40-yard line. Yeah. Well, Sonny, uh, we, we sometimes look at those kickers, but John Hall at least gets his nose in there, okay? Yeah, he, he yeah. hits most harder than most of them. Most of them run away from the ball. Well, that's good field position for the Cowboys starting out the second half at their own 40-yard line. It's the reason they have two halves in the game. Yep. Right. They have to come out and play. you got to keep it up. you got to keep the pressure on them. Establish yourself again. Remember now, the Redskins have played well here for three quarters against a lot of teams. In that fourth quarter, they let down. High formation behind Bledsoe. He sends Witten in motion to the left. Play action fake. Back to pass. Phillip Daniels from behind has him. And he's going to take him down for the sack. Phillip Daniels gets to him. That's sack number three for Phillip this year. They're teeing off. They know they can't run the ball. And you know who was and trying to block coming. him? You know who was trying to block him? 77. 77. <laughs> Torin Tucker. <laughs> Got no chance. No chance. <laughs> He's what you call a liability yeah. <laughs> on the field. Well, you talk about a letdown. Redskins come out fired up here in the second half. Well, there's a big sack right there. Took him down by the pants. <laughs> It's a loss of six on first down, second and 16 coming up for the Cowboys from their own 34. Bledsoe back to pass again. It's a screen pass to Julius Jones on the left side. Makes a good cut at the 35, hit at the 37, and taken down. Brian Clark up there on the stop with Marcus Washington. Yeah, number 25 just made a good hit. The safety. Marcus Washington is all over the field, isn't he? He is everywhere. He got third and 12. I think he's, <laughs> I think on this performance alone tonight he he's got a mark in the Pro Bowl Cowboys three of seven on third down conversions they face a third and 12 at their own 38 Omar Stoutmire Sean Taylor up on the line of scrimmage he's is he gonna blitz too, yes. here he he's comes coming. takes the room oh, they're gonna sack him it didn't matter big pile up loose football uh -huh. And Philip Daniels trying to recover Philip back Daniels at the 21-yard line, and the Skins get it again. <laughs> they get it again as the floodgates open, and they bury Bledsoe. Three guys hit him all at one time. And Philip Daniels got the ball, recovered the ball. <laughs> well, this Redskins defense, I mean, did they take oxygen in the locker room? What happened? They're alive tonight. Greg Williams has them ready to play. They came and this established themselves again, didn't yep. they? Yes, they have. And that was Marcus Washington on the strip in the sack. Yep. And, and Daniels recovered it. And it was Marcus along with Lamar Marshall in there. Ball to 21 of the Cowboys. Redskins up 28-0 and looking for more. Clinton Portis the setback. Pitch. Left side Clinton looking for some running room. Running hard across the 20 to the 17. Behind Chris Samuels and Derek Dockery. Clinton has run better to his right tonight uh -oh. than he has to his left. It comes a touchdown maker in the game, and Taylor Jacobs goes out. Cooley comes in. <laughs> Five catches, three touchdowns. Not a bad ratio. Well, Mark Brunel, he, he has problems uh, figuring which one to go to, Cooley or Santana. That's right. Second and six Redskins at the 17 of Dallas. Portis is set back. Brunel back to pass. 
He's got time. Floats it out to the left. Clinton Portis off his fingertips. Regathers it at the 13-yard line. Oh, what a juggling act that time. But he's going to be a couple yards short of the first down. When it's going your way, it goes your way. Oh, that's true, Sonny. You know, when it's happening. And when it's get, happening for you, it's happening yeah, for you. Yeah, when you get the bounces and everything, the turnovers, it, I mean, it all happens, and you enjoy it. Well, it's a fun game when you're ahead. <laughs> this is the Mega Millions drive of the game for David Kaminsky, brought to you by the Maryland and Virginia Lotteries, and he's he's into some coupons if they score. Em empty back Portis in the slot. Now he's coming back. Third and two. Portis in the backfield. It's a handoff to Clinton. He's got the first down and more across the 10 down to the eight-yard line. It's the first time we've seen that play. Good play. They bring him back in motion. He gets set in, in an offset position and runs a counter gap. Yeah. I, that's the first time we've seen that since Joe Gibbs came out of coaching cars. Clint Porter's doing a great job. 15 carries, 85 yards. Yeah, he's going to top 100 tonight. He should. Only needs 15 more, more yards. High formation behind Brunel. Now Mike Sellers moves off as a wingman to the right of the formation. First and goal at the eight. Hand off Clinton Porters. Sweep on the right side. Gets down to the six-yard line. Now, David Comiskey of Arlington, this Mega Millions driver of the game, he's got 25 Mega Millions coupons. He can win 100 coupons at the skin score a touchdown. To enter, visit 1067freefm.com. The current Mega Millions jackpot, 53 million. Scott Shanley on the stop. Yep. Clinton needed 116 yards coming into the game to go over 1,300 again. Well, he... Uh, he might very well get it tonight. Which would be his fourth consecutive year. It's 16 carries, 87 yards now, Sonny. Portis in the setback, second and six. In motion, Santana Moss to the right. Delay give to Portis, sweeping left side. As Randy Thomas in front of him, gets inside the five, still on his feet, driving down to the one, and I think you might have had a face mask. I don't know. I think you might have seen a face mask call right there. I don't know what the penalty is. We've got to wait and see. So well, hold on Dallas. Just think it's going to be against Dallas because it's their day. They're going to get the call. They've had every It's going penalty. to be against them. You know, Clinton Portis could break the Redskins' single-season rushing record this year of 1,432 yards set by Stephen Davis. Well, I'll tell you what. He went all the way down, I think, to the one-yard line that time. I don't, I don't know, know where they mark it. They're going to take the penalty if it's against, if it's a five-yarder, it'll be half the distance, and they'll save the down instead of third down and goal. Well, he went all the way down to the one, though. They may yeah. let him two fouls on the play. Holding. Number 97 defense. That penalty's declined. Crystal foul. Dressed in a face mask. Defense. Penalized half the distance to the goal. <laughs> and a first down. If he get half the distance to the goal, does he get what he picked up? No. Oh, he does it. Can we bottle some of this up for next week? If he went down to the one-yard line. I think I would have refused that penalty. Well, they're going to take it right down to the one-yard line. Inside the one where it'll be first and goal. Yeah, but he went. He, his run took him down to there. Riskin's going to go with an extra offensive lineman, Ray Brown, in. You mean he gets the yards in, they penalize him? Oh, okay. I think so. I don't uh, know. It's from the it's from the mark, half the distance for the face mask penalty, right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Well, the ball's inside the one. Sam was right for change. First and goal. Liddell bets the setback behind Mike Sellers in the eye. He gets the call. Up and over on the left side. It's a touchdown, Redskins. Touchdown, Liddell Betts. And they extend their lead over the Cowboys to 34 0. Yeah, look out. Here comes that engine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Jerkinson local. Yeah, that's good. You wonder what happened to this guy. I mean, you know, I'm loving this 34 nothing, but this is a team that had a big win last week. Scoring draft summary brought to you by the D.C. Lottery in the brand new game, D.C. Daily Six. The conversion by John Hall is up, and it's good, making it 35 nothing. Six plays, 21 yards. And the Redskins again work the short field to perfection and get six. And good news for David Kaminsky in the drive of the game contest. He will get 100 Mega Millions coupons because the skin scored a touchdown. That's good. 35 nothing. Redskins leading the Cowboys. 10 15 to go in quarter number three. Larry Michael with Sonny Jurgensen and Sam Huff. 
And boy, what a Christmas present this is. Oh, yeah. Man. Yes. You want to be surprised for Christmas, right? You're surprised, you're surprised with this, I bet. I, I haven't seen anything like this since we scored 72 against the well, Giants. Redskins have made no mistakes, no. and the other team has just, just come apart. To put it as vulgar as you can, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> Thompson takes the kickoff at his eight-yard line. Angling to the left, 20-25, and he is trolled by Mike Sellers and a flag on the play. Well, that's a good tackle by Mike. Yeah. Oh, a little block in the back. Take him back some more. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny's enjoying this so much. Oh, it's <laughs> funny, and I love return. this. Holding. Oh, there you go. Three of the return. Hey, go oh, back. Ten-yard penalty. That is eight penalties and 47 yards. Eight penalties against Dallas in 47 yards. And Ooh. there's a timeout on the field with the score. Redskins 35, Cowboys zippy. This is Redskins Radio. And now with your current freedom plan, you'll get two years of scheduled maintenance. Okay. Five year or 60,000 right. miles. Mechanical limited warranty. Right. And gas for two years. Yeah, how far can you drive? Yeah, be sure to see your Chrysler dealer for details and limitations. First and ten Cowboys. Hand off Julius Jones. Sweeping on the right side. Bumps into the outside. Hit from behind and taken down by middle linebacker Lamar Marshall. Yeah, he's, he's had a pretty good game. You get gas for two years, but two they years. won't let you take the car out of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> can't drive it. I, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> the Cowboys going with a hurry-up offense here with 9.45 to go in the third quarter. You know what's good about this? They're coming after him. No, they get Wenzel a from behind, and uh, Philip Daniels Phillip. gets another. Philip Daniels again. I was going to say, you go hurry up offense, you can make mistakes quicker. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. Is he having the ball tonight? Philip oh, Daniels see. having a great game tonight. Yeah, and Sonny's great having, game. Sonny's having a great time to see some other quarterback get hit. Yes. Get nailed. Well, they're going to hurry up again to yeah. prolong yeah. the bruising. Well, here he, comes Philip Daniels again. He can make turnovers in a hurry this way. Third and eight. Bledsoe back to pass. Ronaldo wins got him for the sack again. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at Ronaldo. That's Jumping his first sack of the year. Yeah. Boy, the defense just took it to him there. And these is, this has been a defensive line that has been criticized for not rushing the passer. Yeah, well, they turned it on <laughs> tonight, haven't they? Well, they haven't rushed like this all no, year. they have. Man, I don't know how many sacks they got, John? A fourth down situation here. Five, Five. sacks for the yeah. skins. Mark May will be proud of them tonight. McBriar from his own end zone with the punt, and Rock Cartwright almost got to it. Antonio Brown has time. Oh, he calls the fair catch in his own 48. That's all right. That's good. And he made the catch. Adcom scoreboard quickly elsewhere. Cincinnati leads Detroit 31 to 10, and it's Oakland leading Cleveland 7-3. Well, you want the Raiders to build some confidence, don't you, with that fun finale against the Giants? Time out of the field with 8:52 to play in the third quarter. The score: Redskins 35, Cowboys nothing. With the Provident Bank Home Equity Loan, you get a low rate, pay no points, closing costs, or application fees. Call 800 PBM Lend or visit ProfBank.com today. Equal housing lender. Did you hear what he said? He paid no rate and pay no interest. That's for him. Hand off up the middle. Clint Porters breaks a tackle to midfield stripe in the Cowboy territory to the 46. That's a gain of five on first down for Clinton. Yeah. Who's approaching the 100-yard mark. Give Clinton has... 96 yards. John, John doesn't want to give him 100 yards. Getting more like Rick Hunt every day. Now he might break that single season record. He's got uh, a yeah. couple games left. This would be his 700 yard game of the season if he can get those five yards. I think he's already got 100 yards. I think John, John's wrong. John's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you say that I, about John? I'm, I'm just guessing. Oh. Clinton stays in on second and four. Give him six on first down. Sellers back, back there as a blocking back. Pitch, left side, Portis cuts it up, breaks the tackle, still on his feet. Flag on the play. Flag on the play, thrown at the feet no, of Casey Robach. It can't be against the Redskins. Oh, Come on. No, no. Be serious. Come on, Casey. You're pointing right at him. Yeah. Well, probably holding again. Remember the other hold that he had here? Holding. holding. Offense number 61. Yep. Yeah. Ten-yard penalty. Repeat second down. You know, because he does it once in a while and gets away with it, after a while, I think Casey thinks he can do it all the time. That's what he said after that one penalty where he tackled the guy. He said, I was doing it all game. I just, you know, thought they, they were not calling it. Yeah, that cost him. That yeah. might have cost him the whole game, too. Yep. 
Well, he got called again. Ah, uh, sorry. They Casey. had two plays after that holding call and did nothing with the ball. Well, I think they were too far back. That's why. I, guess. I don't know. Second and 14 from their own 44 for the Skins. Brunel in the shotgun formation. It's a handoff up the middle of Clinton Porter from the shotgun. He gets hit and obliterated at the 45. Well, he's going to get that 100 yards one inch at a time, huh? Yeah, that's tough. The other one, you know, he, he did good. At, that boy defensive lineman down there running his mouth. That's uh, Thomas Johnson. They ought to just point at the scoreboard and tell him, take a look up there. Well, Cowboys change third down. They bring in six new defensive players. Well, six. They, well, the other ones haven't done the job, so they're going to try. Oh, they got him in third and 12. Clinton yeah. hits the 100-yard mark, 19 rushes, 100 yards for Clinton. Third and 12 from their own 46 for the Skins Rock. Cartwright in for Portis. And Brunel from the shotgun. And did they get the uh, play off in time? No. Legal procedure against the Skins now. Procedure call. Eight. Call start. Offense number 66. The five yard penalty. Yeah, that's right. But it remains third down. Derek. That's all right, Derek. Doctor, we can have one. It's 35 Pink. nothing. Look at Joe Bugle down there. <laughs> dickery, dickery, dockery. <laughs> Now to bring up a third and 17, and you would anticipate a run here, wouldn't you? Two holding penalties in this in this series. No, well, nobody in the backfield, so it might not be a run. Brunel under center has Rock Cartwright as a slot man, and now Rock moves back into the backfield, Runner. and it's a handoff to Rock Cartwright. Has some running room across the 45 to the 48, back to the original line of scrimmage. That's what they were just trying to do: keep the clock running and yeah, put it away. Yeah, put it away. That was a smart thing to do. That was a play that Clinton broke down to the goal line. I think he scored on it. He did it before. Remember, they brought him back from the slot. That's right. Yeah, That's exactly right. Slot. Yeah, good play. Here's a punt from Derek Frost. Hi. Patrick Creighton's going to let it hit at the 15-yard line, bouncing down inside the 10. And... Redskins are going to mark it there. Good special teams action that time by the Skins. It'll be first and 10 Cowboys at their own eight after a 42-yard punt. It's 35-0. Redskins leading the Cowboys. 5.58 to go in the third quarter. Back after this on the free FM. FM 106.7 WJFK. HCA Virginia, the official hospital of the Washington Redskins and Redskins Radio. First and 10 Cowboys at their own nine-yard line. They trail 35-0. Marion Barber, the setback behind Bledsoe, is back to pass. Looking right, fires, has a man, Terry Glenn. Knocked out of bounds. Sean Taylor Ooh. puts the lumber to him. <laughs> I mean, man, as long as the body is moving, Sean Taylor's going to hit it. That is Terry Glenn's first catch. Yeah, he don't want to catch it again either with 21 coming at him. You can feel that all the way up here, huh? You got it. Boy, he hit him in the air. He turned that ball loose, too. Turns him on, doesn't it? Yeah. He loves it. Yeah, he loves to hit. He's a heck of a football player. My kind of guy. The body's moving. Hit it. Gain of eight on that play. Second and two at their own 17 for the Cowboys. Bledsoe. Bledsoe changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Taking a long time. It's a handoff to Barber. Sweeping left side. Hit at the 30. And he's got enough for the first down. Let's take a quick look at the McDonald's scoreboard. Game still underway. Cincinnati leads Detroit 31-10. And it's Oakland 7, Cleveland 6 in the fourth quarter. I don't care about these games. I know no, you don't. You really don't, do you? Yeah. Cowboys like get a first down. I like this one, though. <laughs> I like this one, too. First and 10 at their own 21. I'm not, I don't play, you know, that. Sonny, Sonny plays that fantasy stuff, and he has to make oh, picks. I don't. You know that stuff? I make, I make picks with George. <laughs> Hand off to Barber, trying to find room on the right side. Sean Springs comes in, forces it inside, and Warwick Holdman with the stop. And the clock continues to roll, 440 and counting here in quarter number three with the Redskins up 35 zip. You know, this is the most aggressive that I've seen the Redskins defense. This is What's it. What's good about We've got to keep it going. That Dallas is running the ball, keeping the clock running, trying yeah. to get it over with. You got it. <laughs> Second and eight for the Cowboys at their own 23. And motion Witten to the left. Bledsoe, play action fake. 
Feel some heat. Sacked. He's going to get hit. Going to get sacked again. Let me tell you what. He's sacked. Philip by Daniels. Philip Daniels again. He's sacked <laughs> Bledsoe and the tackle that time. He <laughs> sacked both of them. Three for Philip Daniels. From uh, Bledsoe's blind side. Yeah, Redskins have just dominated. Is that seven or six sacks? Six sacks for the Redskins so far in the game. That's the most they've had total, I think, all year. They're and now it's a third it and 11. Third and 11 for the Cowboys. They're just showing you what defense can do in this league. I love it. Boy, they're going to go after him this time. Bledsoe back to pass. Philip Daniels with a rush, gets it off to Barber on a screen, up ahead to the 30-yard line, and he stopped right at the first down marker. He's going to be a yard short. A little bit short. Bledsoe's hoping so they can punt it. They're going to punt it. Yeah. Bledsoe said, we don't want any more of it. Punt it away. All the details on today's game and all the games around the league, be sure to check the sports section of tomorrow's Washington Post. That means Mac McBriar's coming in, and Antonio Brown deep to receive with 3.15 and counting to go in the game. And the Redskins comfortably in front, 35-0. And I don't know whether I want him to run this back all the way or not, because I'd like to save some of these points for next I week. I know, me too. I said that before. We need to bottle some of these up. McBriar, <laughs> oh, it's a horrible punt into the Redskins bench, and that was a, I guess that point about 10 yards. What do you think? The 48-yard line, it went out of bounds. Yeah, it's a 12 or 13-yard punt. No, it's the 45. Went out of the 48. Guess who Bill Parcells is talking to? The special teams coach. <laughs> 15 yards of the pump. The Redskins will have it first and 10. They lead 35 nothing. Time goal with Sonny Jerkinson and Sam Huff. Joined by Senator George Allen. Are you having fun, Senator? Larry, I'm having a great time. It's good to see Sonny on to have his victory cigar. And Sam loves this. It's a shutout. And we just gave uh, four Purple Hearts at halftime to some great uh, troops are serving our country. Well, thank you. I want to hear more on that in a moment. Here's a handoff to Clinton Portis across the 40. A gain of seven on first down. Tell us some more about that halftime ceremony. Well, it's the Purple Heart Order of the Purple Heart. This has been around since the days of George Washington. For those who are injured in service to our country, they get a Purple Heart. And these uh, four gentlemen, they were from Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, and Maryland, and the crowd really cheered them in gratitude for their service to our country. That's wonderful. It really is. Well, it says a lot for the Redskins to do that as well, to use that uh, limited time at halftime to recognize our troops. Second and four for the Skins at the Cowboy 39. Santana Moss in motion to the left. It's a handoff to Clinton Portis, looking for some room on the right side. Gets upended, bringing up the third down. You know, Senator, Moss, it, it, a lot of people credit your dad, George Allen, for kind of generating this rivalry. What would he be thinking today if he was here today? He'd be loving it. <laughs> Sonny he knows would. he'd be dancing on the <laughs> sidelines. Oh. Uh, th this is as much a route as that championship game on New Year's Eve in 1979. And he, it, there was such a difference in the two uh, teams. The Redskins were anti-establishment. The, they were the establishment. Right. We were emotional. And uh, there'd be a lot of hip hip hooray. Oh gosh, in yeah. The locker room. <laughs> All right, here we got a third and six. Third and six. It's a play action fake. Brunel rolling to his left, still rolling, looking, fires. Santana Moss. I think he's out of bounds. He caught it, but he's out of bounds. How shocked are you with this score? I, I'm. <laughs> Absolutely shocked. <laughs> I thought this would be a game where, you know, we might win 24-21, exactly. something like that. Too. Hey, hey, George, Senator, yes, I sir. remember your father challenging Tom Landry to a fight at the at the 50-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> Let's duke it out ourselves. <laughs> well, June, June Rhee was teaching him Taekwondo. Here's a punt from the 41. Good snap. Punts off. Beauty. Yeah, uh, looks like it's too far. It's in the end zone. I'm only going to come out to the 20. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. We'd like to get him down on the two and sack Bledsoe oh. for safety, and then we want to see Romo in here or whoever their second hey, stringer hey, is. We hey. might see Romo. He is the second stringer. That George Allen is coming out now. <laughs> <laughs> Senator George Allen with us in the broadcast booth here at FedEx Field. Well, it's been a long, long time. I, I can't remember when. Uh, the Redskins actually beat Dallas twice in the same. It's 95. 1995. 95 that happened? Last yeah. time they beat him twice. Yep. But he would be proud of this defense today. Oh, this the defense. They're playing. They tuck it to him right off. All right, here's Dallas first and 10 on the 20. Take it over, Larry. All right, Senator. <laughs> Bledsoe under center. It's a pitch. 
Right side, Julius Jones has blockers, but the defense is there. They push him out of bounds. Maybe a gain of one on that play. It's great to see 10 white shirts over by that football. Yeah, the, the pursuit's great. Yep. And what the Redskins need to do is save all this up for next week against <laughs> the Giants. Sonny was saying, let's bottle some of these scores up. Save some of these points to the extent you can. We don't want any injuries and just well, Ryan, Ryan, make sure you keep this, this edge. Ryan Clark came up with a little bit of a sore shoulder on that hit. Gain of one on that play. Second and nine coming up from the 21. High formation behind Bledsoe. It's a pitch left side this time to Jones. Hits the hole hard into the secondary. Trying to get past Sean Taylor off to the races. 50, 45, 40. Taylor's got the angle and drives him out. And the face mask on top of it. Yep. A big gainer for the Cowboys inside the Redskins. 30 plus. Well, that's too bad because that's going to hurt their rush record tonight. You don't want to give up anything. <laughs> God, you're going for records now. He's getting, huh? he's getting gritty. Yeah. Well, and he made fun of me for saying I wanted it down inside the five yeah, on the punt. That's right. Being, see, that's what you get for being charitable. <laughs> Showing a heart, Sam. We know better than that. Well, Senator, the buzz was in the stadium when you got here. I'm sure yeah. you could feel this big game atmosphere. Yeah, you could see it. And then the lines coming in, the parking lot. Uh, th this is... Uh, Really, in the stadium, every single seat is here. The place is rocking. Folks are liking it. They have some good uh, ribald cheers for Dallas. <laughs> I, li I like that. <laughs> hey, Senator, there's yeah. a lot of boats here. <laughs> I know there are right many boats here. <laughs> All right, first and 10 at the Redskins 14. The Cowboys have been a little closer. They got to the Redskins 11 earlier in the game, but they have not scored. Bledsoe gives the Marion Barber up the middle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. Ronaldo wins. Got him. Maybe a gain of one on that play. Ronaldo win. I'll tell you what, both defensive ends have really had a great night tonight. Philip Daniels and Ronaldo. That's going to do it for the quarter. And Senator George Allen, we appreciate Yeah, I kind of get it. You know what? Why don't you just pass me the blue diamond? Go deep. Go no, deep no, for the no. almond. Hand he off. drops back, checks no, left, no. fires a bullet. No. It's not the fumble. Oh. Little fresh roasted blue diamond footballs are all over the field. And I can't a week. All yeah. over the family room. Fumble That's recovered. Right. Yeah, they're delicious. Redskins Radio. Second and nine, Cowboys. The Redskins 13-yard line. I formation behind Bledsoe. He sends Terry Glenn in motion to the right. Bledsoe. Play action fake. Back to pass, looking at, oh, over the middle, Witt with the catch. He makes it inside the 10 at the 6-yard line, and he's going to be about 3 yards short of the first down. Washington makes the stop. 15 minutes left to play. If you don't think things can change in 15 minutes, go to Geico.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on your car insurance. Geico available to serve you 24 hours a day. Boy, I bet old Tory Aikman is sick doing the TV, huh? Redskins <laughs> got 16 first downs to the Cowboys, 9. Third and two at the Redskins six-yard line. They need to get to the four-yard line for a first down. High formation behind Bledsoe. Long count. Gives the ball to Barber. Hits the line of scrimmage, and he stops short of the four-yard line. Gets the five a yard short. They have 290 yards to 169 for the Cowboys. Oh. No, they got five penalties now. They had a few penalties in the third quarter. The Cowboys have eight. They've had a lot of those refused. Brunel, 11-19, and four touchdowns. Portis, 21 carries, 104 yards. Cooley, five catches, 67 yards, and three touchdowns. Fourth and one, and the Cowboys obviously will go for it, trailing 35-0. Ball at the five-yard line. Single setback is Marion Barber. Timeout. Timeout taken by Bledsoe. Timeout taken by Drew Bledsoe with 13-35 to play in the game, facing a fourth and one. The Redskins lead at 35-0. We back after this on the free FM WJFK Redskins Radio Network. Weeknights, 7 to 10 p.m. on Free FM 106.7 WJFK. Free FM 106.7 WJFK. Meyer Emco Audio Video created an amazing home theater system for me, and they're ready to do one for you. 61-inch plasma screen surround sound and cooling perfect. Meyer Emco Audio Video. Log on to MeyerEmco.com. Fourth and one Cowboys. The Redskins five-yard line. Single setback, Marion Barber, Whitman in motion. Redskins looking to preserve the shutout. 
Bledsoe, pitch right side to Barber. Gets hit up in the air, and he's very close to the first down. I think he's got it. He elevated at the five-yard line, came down at the three. Yeah, he does. He's got it. He got up in the air, didn't he? So the Cowboys get a first and goal at the two as Barber converts the fourth down. Interesting that the Cowboys have given up the passing game. They want to run, run every play and run the clock out, I guess. Why prolong the agony? There you go. Parcells has seen enough. And I think he has. First and goal at the two. High formation behind Bledsoe. A handoff to Barber. Hit and taken down. Great tackle that time by Warwick Holman. Warwick Holman. Beautiful play. Good one. John Canozen loves that. He <laughs> loves that guy, Holman. <laughs> he thinks he's going to make a card salesman out of him when he retires. <laughs> that was a good play then. It was a good play. I give him credit. When he, gets, when he does good, I give him credit. Yeah, no gain on that play. Second and goal coming up. Well, that clock is running. Yep. 12-25 right. and counting. Redskins lead at 35-0. I love saying that. High formation behind Bledsoe. He sends the fullback in motion to the left. Barber, no. Play action fake Bledsoe into the end zone. It is a touchdown to Witten. Jason Witten, similar play to how they won the game last week against Kansas City, open in the end zone for six. Yep. Beat Sean Taylor. And we had the stat ready. The last time the Redskins shut out an opponent was 1991, and it will not happen today. As long as you win. Hey. That's the important thing. We would have taken a one-point win. You got it. And the conversion by Cundiff. Scoring drive summary brought to you by the D.C. Lottery and the brand-new game, D.C. Daily 6. Eight plays, 80 yards in the score. Cundiff, the extra point is up. And it's good. So with the score of 35-7, Redskins time out on the field. This is Redskins Radio. This is an invitation to get acquainted with a star. No, not a movie star, Energy Star. Energy Star is the bright blue label on home. Very well done, Mr. Huff. Welcome Thank back you. to the GMRI broadcast booth. Larry Michael along with Sam Huff and Sonny Jurgensen. We're happy to be here. We're so yeah. happy with this 35-7 score. We don't know what to do with ourselves. We have not had it. <laughs> love it, love it. We haven't really had an occasion to where we've been able to enjoy something like this for a while i think every defensive guy playing has made a big play tonight Boy, well Philip Daniels had a great game oh yes he has the run up and the kickoff by Cundiff coming down to antonio brown at his 11 yard line coming to the right has a hold of 30 35 almost to the 40 yard line he almost broke it man he is a lightning streak yes he is Time out on the field with the Redskins leading 35-7 with 12.05 to play the game. This is Redskins Radio. Singular and Motorola bring you the world's first phone with iTunes. Introducing the, the Redskins 35, the Cowboys 7. A quick look at the Purple Heart scoreboard. Cincinnati 38-10 leading Detroit in the fourth. And it's Oakland 7, Cleveland 6. Redskins have it first to 10 at their own 38-yard line. Pitch to the left, Clinton Portis. Cuts it back across the 40, still on his feet up to the 45 to the 46-yard line. Very close to a first down. Here's the Redskins where the Redskins would just like to run the ball 10 straight times and kill about eight minutes of the clock. Well, yes. Oh, yeah. They do. Clinton will go over 1,300. Marcus Spears, the left defensive end, was in on that tackle. Rookie. And uh, playing pretty well with defense for the Cowboys. Portis now 22 carries, 112 yards. He's going to get it again right here on second and two at the 46. Portis the setback. Pitch right side. Has Sellers in front of him trying to get around the corner. Not much running room. Goes low and gets maybe one on that play. I don't think he got any. I think he just made it back getting up limping. Yeah, Clinton's going to wave bets in. That's it. He fell on his knee, it looked like, or something. I think he's, he's okay. Can't afford to lose him. Ball marked the 45-yard line. Third and a long one. Make it two for the Redskins. Adele bets the setback. Three wide outs of the formation. Santana Moss in motion to the left, and Brunel's going to pass it. As Cooley wide open, there's the catch in the first down of the left side up to the 50-yard line. Cooley 
in the flat. He just lofted that ball out there, didn't he's he? He's wide open. He just yeah. runs. He runs a good pattern and just right out in the flat, and they never cover it. He runs under the ball. How is he so wide open every time? They don't cover him. They do not cover that pattern. And the Redskins take advantage of that. That's huh? his seventh catch. Well, that's a first down for the Skins. First and ten at the midfield stripe. Betts remains a setback in the I formation. In front of him, Mike Sellers. And it's a handoff up the middle to Betts. Gets a gain of two, still on his feet. Gets a gain of five, six yards. Looked like he was down, and somehow he put his hand down, kept his balance, and kept churning those legs. Yeah, he just spun around, and they lost, lost track of him. The defense <laughs> of Dallas kind of relaxed, thinking he was down. That's what happens when you're in a situation like this defensively. You're looking for somebody else to make the tackle, and everybody lets up. Well, they've got a lot of substitutes in there now. Yeah. The first team got blasted out of there, so now they're playing everybody. Yeah, so, Ray, Ray Brown, I think, is in the game now. So the offensive line ought to have a field day right now. That's the setback. Second and fourth, the Cowboy 44. They head off the bets right up the middle. Plows ahead across the 40. He's got the first down, running hard to the Cowboy 39. Well, there's 9.22 to go in this game. Redskins leading 35 to 7, and that clock is running. And That's down. good. <laughs> That's good. Keep it running. Going to be a great week in Washington. <laughs> and Jimmy Ferris checks in, replacing... Miss Santana Moss, hungry but broke from holiday shopping. Try a Subway six-inch cold cut combo for just two sixty-nine on toasted bread, piled high with all the fixings. The Redskins have one hundred forty-five yards rushing. They're averaging four point eight yards a carry. Subway eat fresh. First and ten, hand off to Betts again, right up the middle, churning those legs. Gets bent back at the thirty-seven yard line. Didn't make anything on that one. But a nice time-consuming possession this time for the Redskins. Eight and a half to play. Skins are headed to their third straight win. Yeah. And the people are heading out the door. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. It's going to be a lot of traffic tonight. Liddell did pick up two yards on that play, yeah. on that carry. Second and eight with 8.15 to play. Redskins lead at 35-7. Just dominating the Cowboys from the opening gun. Pitch left side. Betts cuts it up the middle. Boy, fumbles, goes right in the hands of one of the Cowboys. And the Redskins trying to tackle him, Brunel down there. And it's a turnover. First turnover of the game, and one of the Redskins is down. Randy Thomas is down on that play. This Randy is, is on his stomach. 77, Randy Thomas, you're right. I don't know how, must, must have got kicked in the head with a knee. There's a big pile up down there. He got bent oh, back. His, got his right leg. knee got bent back. Right knee got bent back. That's not Ooh. good. Didn't look good. Got got rolled up on from behind, and we can only hope for the best. Well, your best offensive lineman. Yep. There he is. Be out of there. Timeout on the field with the score. Redskins 35, Cowboys 7. That's the first Redskin turnover of the game. Back after this, a real fiery guy. A great guy. We got him from the, what, the New York Jets? Yep. And he's having a Pro Bowl year. Yep. That's too bad. Hopefully his year hasn't ended. You get somebody big falling on your ankle like that from behind. Look at him. He's he is one of the best. Now he's a jokester. They can't feel too good right now. No. We'll take X-rays of it or an MRI and find out how bad it is. And I got a cast on his right ankle. Not a good sign. You can only hope for the best there. Hope it's precautionary measures. But the Redskins did just make their first turnover of the game. The first mistake they probably made of the game. Thomas bumping his fist, going through the tunnel. He's a nut, that guy. I tell you what, <laughs> he is just a nut. Look at him. He's, he's smiling. And yeah. hollering. He's, he's in pain. smiling because the camera's on him. Well, he's in pain, but he's smiling and. He's happy for this game. Now, you know, they're going to miss him if he's gone for any length of time. That's a damper on this otherwise perfect evening. Yes, it was. That's the first mistake, and you, and you get a player hurt in the same play. 
7.55 remaining in this game. Redskins leading 35-7. to seven. And it is an instant replay call on top of everything. Maybe it wasn't a turnover. Huh? The Redskins are challenging. This is the fourth challenge of the year for the Redskins. Previously, they won one and lost two. And they're challenging the fact whether Betts actually fumbled the football, I guess. I mean, the really on the field was a fumble. I think when he hit the ground, he fumbles. And while they take a look, it's time for Kenosa's Key Stats, brought to you by Granger for the ones who get it done. What's the key stat there, Sonny? Don Kenosa says field position, defense, special teams gave Washington offense the ball five times in Cowboy territory. Average Washington start. 7.55 to go in the game. The Redskins lead at 35-7. And this would be Joe Gibbs' 154th career win. Tying Marv Levy. Ties Marv. Tying Marv Levy for yeah. 12th all-time. In NFL history. In, in history. It's another John Canoza stat. It's another key one for John Canoza. Yeah. First and 10 Cowboys at the 46-yard line. After the long break because of the injury to Randy Thomas in the replay. Bledsoe back to pass. Pump fake. Phillip Daniels has him. It's another, another sack for Phillip Daniels. That four, I think. That's four, four sacks for Phillip Daniels in this game. i tell you what. Phillip Daniels to take Terry Tucker with him wherever he goes. <laughs> oh, he's going to vote for him on his all-opponent team. Yeah. <laughs> he should take him wherever he goes. Yeah. Tucker, 77. There you go. What's his fourth sack? Four sacks. Four for, for Philip Daniels. Man, what a game. Second and 17 for the Cowboys from the 39-yard line. Pitch left side. Right side, I should say. Julius Jones with it. No place to go. Gang tackled with the 41-yard line. And again, here's where you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Exactly. They're the Redskins. Lamar Marshall, slow to get up. Okay. Holding his right well, arm. Nick Clemens made the stop, the official stop, I think. Third and 13. Seven, uh, 6.55 to go in the game. Third and 13 for the Cowboys from their own 43-yard line. Go get him. They're going to come after him, that's for sure. Bledsoe back to pass. Here comes everyone. He got He's got time over the middle, has a man. It's almost intercepted by Sean Taylor. Uh, they got Intended a punt. for Terry Glenn. Yep, they got to punt it now. Why? Now they're going to go well, for fourth it. Fourth down, that's why. Now they're going to punt it. They're going to punt it. Oh, fourth and damn, all day. They're down 35 to 7. Well, I, they're going to do what I just said. I don't know. I mean, they may not. They haven't kicked it yet, have they? Not yet. <laughs> but I think that percentages with me. I do too. <laughs> Redskins with seven sacks this afternoon. Oh my goodness. Breyer into punt. His last one went 15 yards. This one a lot better. A high spiral. Antonio Brown's going to let it uh -oh. hit at the seven. It uh -oh. bounces sideways at the five yard line. Flag on the play. The Redskins Dimitri Patterson signed this week. Could have been called for that penalty. And now one of the Cowboys coming after Patterson. Who walks to the sideline slowly, and the clock shows 6:25 to go. Yeah, 34 there. Dimitri Patterson. Mm -hmm. Not a good thing to do when you just tying on during the kick, holding number 34, the return team. Yeah, it's Dimitri. Penalize half the distance to the goal. First down. Now you don't like that if you're just signed to yesterday for the team. <laughs> Well, the fans are getting ready to head home. Some of them have already started. The Washington Post sports writers have got plenty to report today, and it'll be good. See what they say about the Redskins in tomorrow's Washington Post. Did you read about uh, Antonio Pierce in the Washington Post, the column? Yes, that's fantastic that is. Fantastic column about yeah. Antonio. And Antonio he, Brown or Antonio, I mean, Antonio Pierce? Yeah. Antonio Brown. Yeah, it was a great story. Sorry, it was a great story. Ball at the Redskins three-yard line backed up. Liddell bets in the end zone behind Brunel. He gets the call. Betts hits the hole at the five, drives ahead of the seven-yard line. Cowboys showing some frustration right now, throwing a couple of the Redskins down. Why wouldn't they be frustrated? They've really had it handed to them today by yeah. the Skins. 
in every facet of the game. Well, they still are. I mean, that was a nice run right there. Picked up about five, six yards. And the clock is running, coming down under six minutes. Second and six coming up for the Skins from their own seven. Next week, next Saturday, it's the New York Giants in town in a huge game. Another must win for the Skins with two to go. Hand off again. And a flag oh. on the play. Liddell Betts gets it across the 13-yard line. Don't like, get sloppy now. It looked like the official was waiting for something to happen there, right? You know, he threw that flag before they even snapped the ball. Yeah, he had the flag in his hands before the right. So, yeah. Part of the snap, false start. No Offense flag. number 66. Uh -oh. Penalized half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. Oh, Derek. Got Big knocker. Yeah. And Ray Brown playing the right guard position with the injury to Randy Thomas. Ray's a little bit better at that guard position these days. When he had to play Pack, left tackle, tackle earlier this year. Yeah, he's a guard. Yeah. yeah, he's a guard. And a heck of a guy, too. Really a great guy, Ray Brown. Nice man. If that injury keeps uh, keeps Randy out the next couple games, that means Ray Brown has to step in, and he'll finish his career as a starter. The Redskins have had their offensive line together for every game. Wait a minute, you're saying he's retiring? Yeah, well, he says he is. <laughs> he already he said he is. He says he is. Okay. Okay. Second and nine Redskins at their own four-yard line. 520 and counting. Hand off again. This time bets again. Cuts it up. Has room across the 10 up to the 13-14 yard line. Very close. close to a first well, down. That was a nice run there, wasn't it? Nice cut back. That runs hard. Yes, he does. Do not forget Philip Daniels caused that first, first interception down. as well. First he, down Redskins. He got the first down and the clock is running. Yep, 455 and counting. Ben's really streaming towards the exits now. This one well in hand. What the heck's that score? It's so far away I can't even see it. 35-7. I thought it was 35-7. 35-7. Uh, Redskins leading the Cowboys. I just wouldn't hear you say it, Larry. I love saying it. <laughs> I got a couple more left in me. <laughs> okay. Hand off again to oh. Betts this time. He's hitting the backfield and dropped for no gain. Going to run down the clock. Going to bring up a second down with 425 and counting. All rights to the broadcast reserved. Any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or other use of the broadcast without the express written permission of the Washington Redskins, the NFL, and WJFK is prohibited. But you can use a lot on your radio shows, right? Yeah, I'm going to use it all. There you go. Yeah. All right. You can replay the whole game and just keep playing it over and over. Well, this is one that will remember for a long time. Yep. Get that about that. Me too. Second and 10 Redskins at their own 13, 355 and counting. Hand off to Betts, looking to run around the right side, makes a cut uh, across the 15 to the 16 yard line. Biggie sack of the game brought to you by Wendy's. The best place to satisfy those late night cravings. Wendy's pick up window open 4 a.m. or later. Do Wendy's do it taste right? So 1 a.m. or later. And any one of the seven was a big one, huh? <laughs> any one of those seven sacks. Philip well, Daniels had four. Yeah, I think you've got to give whatever you give him. You're going to give him Wendy's? Okay, we're going to give him a sack of burgers. Okay. Give all four of them to Rock Cartwright in as a running back. 3-10 to play on third and seven. Jimmy Ferris in motion. The handoff to Rock. Up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet at the 19. And gang tackled by the skins. Well, he didn't get the first down. Word from the Redskins locker room. Randy Thomas's ankle being evaluated. They're going to give him some x-rays and see the nature of that injury. Oh, we knew that. <laughs> yeah, Passing on the information given to me by camera. Well, you you got to be, you got to <laughs> be a little correct. more accurate then. You huh? got to be correct for him. Of course, he went into the locker room <laughs> yeah. to be evaluated. He jump all over you. <laughs> yeah, look at the Cowboys bench over there. They are just so disconsolate. Good for them. They come in and got their butt whipped. Yes, they did. Bumped by Derek Frost with 2:20 to go. A nice Beauty. high spiral. And Creighton's going to take it at the 45, breaks a tackle, and gets dumped at the midfield stripe with 2.15 to go in the game. Oh, he got nailed. 38-yard punt, six on the return. I want to thank our crew. A great job today. Our engineers, Daryl Nichols, Jeff Lockridge, and Tony Diggs. Parabolic mic operators, Greg Edger, Jamie Street, Statman John Canosa.
Studio operations, Chris Owens, Travis Edlin, Lisa herndon Broyhill, and Gwendy Cheek. Studio staff, John Sollett and Eric Price. Stadium staff, Jag Singh and Megan McCluskey. Redskins Radio Sales, Jeff Hedges and Steve Johnson. General Manager, Michael Hughes, and Executive Producer for Redskins Radio, Cameron Gray. Cameron Gray. Cameron. So the Cowboys have it, and they mark it back at the 49-yard line. He's not gray yet, and he's making gray. <laughs> Ooh, I see a broom. There's a broom, and the Bledsoe throws it away at the feet of Nick Clemens. There's a fan down there with a broom. Obviously, the sweep of the Cowboys, first time since 95. I tell you, this Redskins defense really put pressure on Dallas tonight. The Redskins offense took advantage of every opportunity. Yep. Swain will give the Cowboys and Redskins an even eight and six record, two games behind the New York Giants. So the Redskins in wild card contention. They move up ahead of Dallas, don't they? Well, they will because they yeah, beat him twice. They yeah. Them. yeah. Sure. Let's the draw. Marion Barber makes a man miss, makes Kerry Campbell miss, gets past the 45 to the 43. Well, you keep two minutes. We've reached a two-minute warning brought to you by BMW. Visit your Washington area BMW Center. Test drive a new BMW today. The score, Redskins 35, Cowboys 7. Back after this on the free FM, WJFK Redskins Radio Network. WJFK. All right, welcome back to FedEx Field here. Two minutes to go. The Redskins comfortably in front. 35-7, and in terms of the wild card race, the Redskins would be slotted behind Tampa Bay and Atlanta, then the Redskins in Minnesota, and the Cowboys all 8-6, and six. so things getting interesting with two games to play this year. Pitch right side, Marion Barber, trying to drive ahead of the first down marker at the 41. He is very close. I think he's got it. He's got it. All they're going to do is run out the clock anyway. You know. We're in the GMRI broadcast booth here at FedEx Field. Larry Michael with Sonny Jurgensen and Sam Huff, a game that but the Redskins way on the Cowboys' very first play. The entire game, Larry, they just uh, took it to them on both sides. They won it up front. I mean, they made plays, and they, they took advantage of the turnovers and played the perfect football game. Well, Dallas made a lot of, fumb uh, not fumbles, but penalties, too, and that hurt them in key situations. Yeah, there's a Cowboy down on the field. Uh, I think it might be Witten. I'm not sure. Shirts. It's um. It's been five years. <laughs> Cameron finally got came into Cameron Gray. T-shirts. T-shirts. Finally got a shirt out of Cameron Gray. <laughs> yeah. Five years. I've been wearing around the farm. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. We're just kidding. Thank you for the Christmas present. <laughs> and Peter Rosenberg, by the way, will be following the junkies. 10 a.m. to 12 noon each day. It was a great show. Peter Rosenberg. Yeah. He was in the booth earlier today. Big Redskin fan himself. The Cowboy is still down. And we still cannot ID him because of all the medical personnel around him. Well, he hasn't moved. The flat on his back. got a head injury so they're going to take it very slow with him and they most likely will take him off on the cart still do not know who it is well, you know you mentioned Witten I, I don't see I'm looking for Witten's number and I don't see him around so. you know, one of the Cowboys got flit, flipped head over heels and he, and he hit his head on the ground that could be the injured player probably is I got Sam Huff stat of the week the injured player, the you know, right guard for the Cowboys, former Pro Bowler. You know, uh, it's Tony Stewart out on the sidelines. Yeah, car driver, right? Yeah, NASCAR champion this <laughs> year for good. Joe Gibbs Racing, That's car good. driver. Car driver? He's a car driver. Yeah, he works for Joe Gibbs. You know, on that stat you had about uh, the linebacker? Yeah. Philip Daniels had four sacks tonight. Yeah. Right. Okay. I could have played behind Philip Daniels tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your defensive player of the game? Is it Philip Daniels? I would think, yes. yeah. I That's who I would so. vote for. I think, you know, there are a lot of people that have been outstanding offensively. Well, and Ronaldo I mean, Wynn has, too. I mean, you know, but Philip Daniels, too. Yeah, but, I mean, you could pick a lot of people offensively when you start thinking about that. you got Clinton Portis, who's gone over 100. Yeah. had a big day. Mark Brunel's been, you know, 
he's just perfect. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's he's, he's operated the offense. He, he really threw the only threw the ball away a couple of times tonight. But I got to go with Chris Cooley with his three touchdown catches. I think that's pretty good. Three touchdown catches. I mean that's that's really good. Couple final scores on the scoreboard. Cincinnati defeated Detroit 41-17, and in Oakland, Cleveland with a field goal defeats the Raiders 9-7. You got Cleveland? Yes. Oh man, Sonny's so happy. Well, that you know it's uh, concerning when a ball player is down as long as the Cowboy player has been down with an injury you, you yeah, really it's a, become it's a neck injury he got flipped yeah. up and hit his head on the ground a big yeah. man like that yeah. the four sacks for Philip Daniels ties the Redskins single game record four sacks in a game by Dyron Talbert against the Giants in 75 and Dexter Manley against the Giants in 88 so Philip Daniels joins that company yeah, it's always been the Cowboys and the Giants and the Redskins hadn't it I mean those are great games and great performances. we got a great game coming up next Saturday here at FedEx Field, the Redskins and the Giants. Well, you got some unruly Cowboy fans here being removed. Well, he's all... They're just like him outside. that smart juice. <laughs> that smart juice. Smart I've been juice. drinking that smart juice. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you smart. I used to think it made you smart. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you felt we, real we, smart. We roomed together. <laughs> Sonny and I roomed together for many years until Joe Don Luna came to town, and they wanted me to room with him, yeah. and I did. Oh, I had to give up Sonny for Joe Don <laughs> Luna. What a trade that was. <laughs> One wasn't in, and the other one was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. We had a great time, though. Red and I had a great time. We've been yep. together since 1964. <laughs> They've got Marco Rivera yeah. loaded onto the cart, and he's uh, strapped onto the backboard. Yeah. Not, showing any, right. not showing any movement. Not any movement at all. No. Let's hope he's going to be all right. Keyshawn Johnson. How many... How many passes did he have tonight? Much of a game two for passes. Keyshawn. Two passes, two receptions for Keyshawn Johnson. Guy they got from Tampa Bay. Rivera being carted off. No movement at all. Got his hands crossed in front of him. Yeah, plenty of concern on the Cowboys' sideline. Yeah, you got to be. For everyone is. Minute, yep. minute 39 to go in this game and, and, and to get hurt. You know, uh, yeah, 35-7 like game, you know. Yeah, and 35 to 7 Redskins. Uh, and we've had two time to kneel down, isn't it? We've had yeah. uh, one of the Redskins wheeled off, now one of the Cowboys wheeled off. Yep, the game has been out of hand for a long time. Bledsoe, the delay gift to Marion Barber, hit by Prelo at the 47-yard line. It stopped there. Prelo, not the biggest guy in the world, but he hangs in there with a nice tackle. Yeah, <laughs> got to be careful because there's a lot of guys coming, you know, once you make the tackle. There's a lot of guys piling on, it seems like. This is a very slow, hurry-up offense. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they run, just run it out, run the clock out? Minute 20 to go. Bledsoe back to throw, looking over the middle, has Marion Barber again at the 30-yard line. He's hit by Warwick Coleman and a host of Redskins. Stopped right there at the first down. I, I, you know, I don't understand. Why don't they just take their time and run the clock out? Doesn't make any sense, but... No. Cowboys hustle to the line with 55 seconds to go. Redskins going to win this ball game and run their record to 8-6, making next Saturday afternoon's game against the Giants huge. Sideline pattern to the right, completed to Terry Glenn inside the 15 of the 14-yard line. Terry Glenn, he hasn't caught many tonight either. That's his second reception. He's one of the better receivers in the National Football League. 43 seconds to play, and the ball marked the Redskins 14. I think they're trying to score. If somebody's playing, don't, Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be Cowboys. Yeah, that's what they're playing, all right. From the 14-yard line, Bledsoe back to pass, dumps it out to the right side to Barber, coming out of the backfield, and he's stopped immediately by Warwick Holman. That's it. They ought to do that's it. 30 seconds to go, and the clock winding down on this football game. 
Yeah. The Redskins dominating the Dallas Cowboys from the opening gun, and they will take home the victory to run their record to eight and six, tying them with the Cowboys, second place in the NFC East. Bledsoe under pressure, throws it away on second and eight with 17 seconds to play. Why don't they just kill well, him? It would have served him right if they would have lost, lost Bledsoe, their quarterback, pulling around like that. You know what? Yep, not just ridiculous that time. Crazy. Get out of here without any injuries. And they're playing mamas. Don't let your babies grow up yeah, to be cowboys. cowboys. I never had any intention of doing that. And little Nicholas, your son. Intentional grounding. No, Offense number 11. A 10 yard penalty. Loss of down. Makes it third down. Boy, it's just lingering. It's a pleasure to have your son with us tonight. Little yeah, Nicholas. He might have to come each week with this. <laughs> you don't want to grow up to be a cowboy, little Nicholas. <laughs> 17 seconds to play. The Cowboys yeah. third and 18. Kill the clock. Anything. Just, just kill the clock. Come on. Before you get some other ball players hurt. And now, a timeout taken. Timeout taken by the Dallas Cowboys. With 17 seconds left, trailing 35-7. Well, I bet if old Bill was out there, the coach, he wouldn't. He'd just run the clock out, you know? I don't get it. I don't either. I don't either. I don't know what he's trying to prove. So one of his guys wheeled off. Yeah. He's got a little huddle and, and going over there with Bledsoe. And, I, maybe he's, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I really can't understand this. I don't either. Join you in the locker room in a few moments, and that should be a happy place. Well, it should be. I mean, it better be. Beat you. Dallas 35 to seven. Yeah. If you're not happy, you're sick. Better get your head checked. You got it. Chris Cooley. I think he got. He he got, got his hair red. I think you might be right. Yeah, he I did. think you might be right. Cooley uh, going with a new look today, and we'll ask him about that in the post-game show. And Bledsoe under center with 17 seconds to play, a third and 18. Bledsoe dumps it over the middle, incomplete, intended for Keyshawn Johnson, guarded by Dimitri Patterson, fourth I, and 18 coming up. I think he wanted to do that. He threw that ball behind him, you know? I don't get it. They called the timeout for that? I've, I've seen... I, I tell you what, I've seen some stupid stuff in football in my career, but that that doesn't make sense. Fourth down now. Fourth you and know. 18 with 14 seconds to play. 35-7, the Redskins leading the Cowboys. 17 seconds to go. Bledsoe tossing it up for Keyshawn Johnson. Dimitri Patterson with the interception. The 15-yard line up to the 22, and this game is over. Five seconds on the clock. They're going to have to take a snap. But Dimitri Patterson signed to the active roster just yesterday. Gets the interception. I'll tell you what could have happened, right? Now, if you, what you're taught to do when you make an interception like that, near the, go get the quarterback and nail him, right? <laughs> That's right. And That's there right. goes the rest of your season for, for bad coaching. And that was bad coaching what went on there. I'm sorry. He's One a snap better, left. He's much better coach than that to put, a, put the rest of his season at stake in doing that. One slap left. The knee by Brunel will make it official. There you go. Redskins with a big victory over the Dallas Cowboys. 35-7 dominating from the opening gun. Back with our postgame show in a moment. Final score, 35-7. Redskins beat the Cowboys. Playing for Joe, there's always one or two or three different plays that is created mm -hmm. for this upcoming game. Something they saw that first go around against the Cowboys and everything they saw through the last three